Hey, welcome back everyone to episode seven. In this episode, we're going to be getting started with our um, actual battles. So we'll probably implement the fighting first and then the rest will come as we get along. So um, the first thing we have to do is make sure we have the UI script for this guy. And let's try not to get it confused with the actual UI. I probably should have named it better, but that's okay. Um, let's also give the monster UI a UI. So monster UI, and those are the main scripts that we're gonna have. So the first thing we wanna do is in our UI, this guy, let me, let me delete all this as well. We're not gonna need those for now. The first thing we're gonna need to do is connect the fight. So let's connect the fight signal to, let me double check where it is. Yeah, it's going to be um, connecting to the UI. So let's press, take the UI, and we're going to make sure that we don't have advanced for now. We're going to be using the advanced feature later on, but um, don't worry too much about it right now. So let's connect this and here we go. The first thing we want to do is essentially we want to play around with the menus. So the first thing is to hide this menu. Okay, so we're going to get the menu and hide it. And then we're going to get the fight um, menu and show that. We're also going to grab focus of the attack one. So you can do this by just going to fight and attack one. Okay, grid container, cool. And now what we should have is if we play, is if we click attack, it shows us the attacks menu. Cool. We can't do anything in the attack menu, but we'll do that in just a second. Okay. Next up, we want to go to the back menu. We'll probably connect that first. So let's go to, and this one is actually quite nice because what we can do here is we can go to the UI, say back pressed, and then here we basically want to show the menu and then hide everything else. Now I'll show you why we do this in a second, but basically we're going to grab focus of this guy, the fight, and we're going to hide the switch and fight. Now why do we hide both of them? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the switch menu as well. We're gonna also go over here and connect this back signal as well because they basically do the same thing. So now we have two signals for our back that basically hide the fight and switch and go back to menu, okay? Now we wanna now show, let's now um, do, let's add our process function for now. So let's add a process function and this guy, Let me double check. Nope. This guy is going to update all the health things that we have. So let's go over here and let me fill this in and I'll explain it. So we're going to say at HP, which is going to just be this guy. So HP text for me in this game. Dot value is going to be equal to the game dot selected Dohemon dot get parent dot selected. Now, the reason why we have the dot selected is because in here, we're gonna now have a variable called selected. So let's load that. And this will basically keep track of which Dokemon we currently have in battle, okay? Now we'll get into that later, but that's basically where we're gonna hold that in, back into the UI. Let's show the rest of the things. So let's add our um, level. So let's go over here and this is info. So here we have info. Let me try to extend this. So here we have the info dot text is going to be equal to the string of our select Dokemon. Right? So this, we have the selected Dokemon here. So for example, zero by default, and we'll get the name and then we'll add a level, which is just L. And then we'll also put the level. Now this is basically going to do this for us. So it's going to say Dokemon dot space L and then 100 or one or whatever the level is. Um, you can also do level like this if you'd like. I'm just gonna do level like that, why not? Now this might error before we play because we might not have anything in our player. So we're not gonna do anything just yet. Um, actually, I think it might work just because we don't need it, but um, we'll get into that in a second. And lastly, we also want to say, oh, I messed up, my bad. Here, we're gonna say HP bar, 
this is going to be the HP bar. Sorry about that, guys. And this is the HP text. That's why. So this is an integer. That's why we don't have to convert it to a string. But this is a text, so we have to convert it to a string. Now, the same thing, we're just going to load the hell. That's it. So we're just going to have a number. If you want to make it more complicated and add some cool strings to it, that's fine. I'm just going to have a number. And now we want to set the names of our attacks. So in the attack bar, so in the fight, we have attack one, two, three. We're going to set those. So let's add a comment that says set attack names. Now, the reason why we have it in the process is because we want to constantly be updating it. So what we're going to do is we're going to for loop I in the selected Dokimon's attacks, right? Because remember in our game here, we have attacks and this is a dictionary. So here we can get zero, one, two, and three and four and five and it's adaptable. So it just depends on how many attacks you have. So if there's only one attack, it'll only put one attack. Okay. Now in that, what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to get access to the path. Now this is a trick that I use to essentially get access to um, a bunch of things that have different numbers. So here we have attack, we have the path, but we, there's different numbers and it's hard to say get node and then at, and then just enter that path, right? But what we can do is we can just enter this and say fight dot at get grid container. And instead of one, we're going to say plus the string of I plus one. Now, the reason we do plus one is because I starts at zero and we want it to start at one. So we'll go from one, two, three, essentially. Okay. And now here it's going to say get node, which is going to be fight grid container attack one, for example, that's the first one it's going to fill. And it's going to say, okay, the text is going to be the attack. So here in our game, it's going to get this name, right? So let's go back to the UI and that should fill in our attacks. That's pretty much it for the process here. So let's play and hopefully this doesn't error. Okay. It errors right away. Very cool. Okay, so um, we actually have to go over here and put something here because there's no Dokimon. So let's go down and copy this guy. Let's copy one Dokimon. Um, actually, you know what? Let's let's go over here and say game dot elected Dokimon's no uh, add Dokimon pink on. And that should, that might not actually work. We might have to actually do it here. So let's say function. Let's try this and it doesn't work. We'll have to add it manually. Okay, it doesn't work. So why doesn't this one work? Invalid set um, with base string. Interesting. Health. Um, selected health, but why doesn't this work? Let's see. Let's try printing this and see what happened. Um, invalid set index text on base null instance with, okay, let's try printing this and see what we get. Not sure why it erred there. That's very strange. Okay. It should print hundred dot text equals string. Okay. Why don't we just comment this out for now and we'll figure it out in a second. Okay. Let's play. Now, here we go. I might be trying to do something weird. HP text. Oh, that's why I was referencing the wrong node. Okay. Let's try one more time. There we go. Okay. So here we go. Pink Mon level one with um, HP 100. And if we go to the fight, we have blast impact and clash before, if you remember, it was blast blast and clash or something like that. And as you can see the back button works. So we have a pretty nice function functionality here. Um, let's see what, how we're doing on time. Nine minutes. All right, let's do one more thing and we'll, um, we'll actually get to the fighting later. Why don't we add the switch and capture? So let's go to the switch and let's add that to the UI over here. This is the switch press button. And in here, I'm just going to copy the code, but basically we're going to hide the menu. We're going to show the switch. We're going to show the fight, and then we're going to grab focus of the Dokimon. So I have to redo that one. And then for the capture, let's do the same thing. No, sorry. Actually the capture is going to be something else. Um, 
the capture is not going to have its own menu, right? So there's only switch and fight. The flea, we can do the flea because that one's actually pretty easy. Um, where do I have that? It's quite a good question. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to connect the flea as well. So we're going to say pressed, put it in the UI, um, and connect, and we'll put this in. Now, what would you, we're doing here is we're going to go up to our parent. We're going to actually have to edit this. We're going to have to say get parent and get parent. We're going to go into our UI, anim.playtransition, and we're going to await uh, 1.5 seconds and then queue free. Now, we're just going to queue free um, our parent, actually. So we're going to get parent dot <coughs> queue free. Okay. So the reason why we do this is because in our main world, ooh, what is this? Let's uh, pause this for now and pass. Ooh, all right, where is my thing? Okay, it's to the left. If I go here and I update and I flee, hopefully this works. It's basically getting rid of the scene. So let's try one more time and take a look at the remote and see what's happening. So if I go here, see here, we add, should add it. Maybe it's in the world. Yeah, there it is. The battle. We add the battle UI. This world is now paused, right? So this world is paused and I can't move my player, but the battle process is still going on. So we're essentially in the battle, but if I flee, this will destroy the battle. That's it. So we just don't, we don't have to do anything when we flee because we fled. Um, if you guys want to add more things like um, go through all your Dokimons and reduce their health by 50%, maybe you can totally do that. Um, let's actually take a look at this. BG visible. Um, oh, that's why. Because let's uh, name this BG. And hopefully we don't get any errors. Cool. And that's it. Um, let me see if that still works. Okay, it does. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. So let's close that. And that's pretty much it for all of these. Let's go to the capture and we'll connect this as well. We'll connect it to the battle and we'll end up doing this much later on. But that is pretty much it for this. Um, in the next video, we'll probably work on adding the actual player into the, the do player Dokimon, and then we'll make sure the fight attacks work. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode.